Hello and welcome to Makeup 101. I'll be your host, Holly, with our co-host, Katie, over here. Hello, beauties and gentle beauties. And talk about other things. Um, so, a lot of you are probably wondering why you need makeup in cosplay. Because maybe your character doesn't play makeup. Or maybe you're cosplaying a guy. Or you are a guy. Or a non-nightmare character. Or maybe you're just not good at makeup. Or it's expensive and you don't want to do it. Um, or maybe you have acne and stuff, and like, um, or maybe you're wearing a mask. But there's always a good reason to do makeup, guys. It's a lot more important. Etc. <laughs> Etc. <cetera, et> <laughs> um, so the very basics for your makeup is you're just gonna have to practice at it. It's not gonna you're not gonna get it right away. Well, maybe you will, and if you do, screw you. <laughs> You will not get it right the first time. <laughs> you're always gonna want to like, if you're gonna start doing makeup for your cosplays, you're gonna want to plan it. You're gonna want to try it a few times for the convention. Don't like wait for the day of the convention. Do especially you should do this with every costume, especially if you're doing a more uh, boisterous look. That's what <coughs> we're thinking about. A more like fabulous look, something that has like a cat eye or some bright colors. You're definitely gonna want to do makeup tests. It's fun, and you can wear it outside. It gives you an excuse to get up in the morning and do your makeup. Um, you're also going to be patient with it. Don't skip steps unless it's something that you really don't think you're, you're not going to need. Um, and don't rush yourself. I mean, unless you are a lot more skilled, you might be able to do it in 15 minutes. But if you're not, take your time. It's not going to look good if you do it. try to do it in five minutes. Um, unless you just know what you're doing 100% and are professional. But even then. They still take a long time to do stuff too. Um, three hours. Like three hours. Um, so the the foundation of your makeup is your skin. So you're gonna want to take care of it. You're gonna want to wash your face before you put any makeup on. Um, don't sleep in your makeup, guys. It's disgusting. It gets on your pillows. I mean, okay, everyone will do it at some point. I've done it. I won't say we're all free of the sin, but um. It, it is just kind of icky. I mean, you're like, but then I don't have to put my makeup on tomorrow for the convention. I can just have the same makeup. No, don't do that. Just take it off. Get a nice, get makeup wipes too. Probably wouldn't suggest doing with just water. You can. Unsuggested. Um, I'm going to shave and moisturize if you do that. Um, and then keep all of your makeup, keep your tools clean, especially keeping your hands, um, especially if you're like, going to use the same brush or something for multiple like colors or multiple looks. You're going to want to keep them clean so they don't have crossover and so they just don't get icky. Um, yeah. um, put your contacts in before you do your makeup because afterwards if you're going to I don't know, it's kind of self-explanatory. You're, you're, you're going to fuck up the contacts you're going to fuck up the you're makeup. You're going to start crying. <laughs> you're going to run into that nightmare scenario where you can't get your contact and you start crying because you're touching your eyes and it's just getting really sensitive and then you're crying and your makeup's running and it's over. And you have to do it all over again and your contacts aren't even at, in at that point. But don't do it. Um, and then if you're going to be wearing glasses with the costume, make sure your makeup it can be a little darker so it can see through the glasses. Um, it's okay. So there's a lot of things. If you ever watch any makeup videos or look at any like tutorials, you're going to see like 50 different things, and there are some basics that you should have, and then there's like 20 <coughs> other things that you could have if you really want to. Um, so you just need to figure out what's important for you, but the most universal things are foundation, powder, blush, eyeshadow, and then any like lip stick or lip balm or lip gloss. Um, and also makeup is expensive, especially like foundation and powder. Those things are going to run you up a lot of money, but they will go a long way if you get the right stuff, and if you use it right and don't spill it or anything like that. Um, Leave it open, find it dry three hours later. Yeah. So, um, if you ever buy makeup, as I said, you're going to find it's very expensive, and there are cheap and there are like, there are more expensive options. The cheap options are going to be the ones you feel like if you go to Walgreens. Okay, I will admit, I get most of my makeup at Walgreens. Sue me. But it works. Um, or 
So you're going to want to wait for sales. A lot of times at Christmas they'll have sales because they'll have like stocking stuffers and then you can get like really good makeup at like Macy's or Kohl's or really anywhere for really cheap because they're trying to get rid of the stocking stuffers. Um, decide what you want to spend your money on. So recommended to spend it on like foundation and then like the moisturizers and the stuff that's going to keep your, your face from like breaking out, which is like primers and cleansers. Um, and then maybe spending less money on like the lipsticks and stuff like that because they, they tend to be less like if you buy the cheap ones. It doesn't tend to be as bad as if you like bought cheap. Don't buy super cheap eyeshadow. That's all I can say. <laughs> um, and then think about like how many uses you're going to get out of each item. So like if, like I said, $13 foundation might seem like a lot, but it could last for you for three weeks or it could last you for three years if you only wear it for cosplay. Wouldn't suggest that because they do expire, but we don't always follow those rules. <laughs> <laughs> when it looks disgusting, that's when you throw it away. Um, so it will make your, you'll get your money over time, especially if you use it conservatively, that like I don't. Um, so, and then be wary of cheap stuff. Like if you go to the dollar store, you can find a lot of makeup, which is good for practicing, but I wouldn't really use it in a lot of complete cosplay looks. You can try it and you might find some hidden gems, but um, a lot of the, again, like I said, especially eyeshadow, a lot of them will have very low pigmentation, which means like there's barely no color there, or they'll just fall out, which means if you like were to tap the eyeshadow thing, you can just get dust falling out and they'll get all mixed together. Um, they might be poorly made if they're cheaper, and then they can also just be dangerous if you're buying from certain sellers. They might not have been tested properly, but I don't think any of us are going to be buying from the black market makeup, so hopefully we'll be fine with that. At least, <coughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so here is what I mean when I say that it can get expensive. So, our foundation is $6 get that at like grocery stores grocery stores you know and then I don't even know what foundation this is but as you can see it is fifty eight dollars um I would usually cover girl is pretty good and it's pretty cost efficient too um people swear by the I think it's cover girl the this, uh, fit me brand that one is really good like it's beauty guru approved or whatever so um <coughs> Those are usually about 12 or 13 dollars, and you can sometimes get buy one get one half off sales. So, especially if you're gonna go like to Walgreens and stuff and buy your makeup, just look for the sales, and you can get pretty good bang for your buck. Um, if you really want to spend 60 dollars on foundation, you know, you're I stand you, you're queen, and uh, do you do you? But I don't think any of us are going to be dropping 60 dollars on foundation anytime soon, especially when there's like 16 other things you can buy for makeup first. <laughs> um, Okay, so for some people have sensitive skin, so you're not going to want to be using, do you want to talk about this? <laughs> no, I'm just saying I'm one of those people okay. with sensitive skin. I don't, my skin can take a beating. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or maybe I just don't care about it, maybe it is sensitive and I just don't know. But um, so the non-comogenic -com is it's going to be safe for most skin, it's not going to clog your pores. Um, and it doesn't mean minimal coverage. It doesn't mean that it's going to, like, not work. It just means that it's, it's safer for you to wear. Um, and just because you have sensitive skin, it can't mean you, doesn't mean you can't wear heavy makeup. You just have to be a little more careful. You have to test it out beforehand, probably. Um, and you're definitely going to want to wear your skin products underneath your makeup, so your moisturizer, uh, primers, and, like, treatments. Um, and then also, you know, keep your brushes clean, which is the second time, and probably not the last time this is going to be mentioned, because um, if you don't, if you don't clean your brushes regularly, you're just gonna end up having to throw them away at some point, like me. Okay. Um, and yeah, they don't have to be expensive, so just look for the options. There's an option for everyone that fits you best. So, so um, if you go on YouTube or literally anywhere and type in makeup tutorials, you're gonna find a lot. Um, and they're pretty good, so if you like, depending on what you're doing though, so you might actually even be able to find makeup tutorials for certain characters, especially if you're doing like Disney characters, I've followed a few. Um, but otherwise, if you're just looking for like general makeup tutorials on like the basics, there's a list here. So we have Michelle Fenn, 
She has her own makeup line and she posts tutorials regularly. We have Mitra B, um, who's a black beauty blogger, so um, and has very glamorous makeup looks, so can help any like people of color who like might not be um, might not have other like on this list. Sorry, I can't talk. <laughs> we have Samantha and Nick Chapman, um, who have very casual makeup tutorials for beginners, so if you're just starting off like right now, um, they are probably be the best to look at. Um, they'll just take you step by step. Um, Katie Snooks is a beauty blogger with acne, so if you have that issue, then you can um, look at her and see how she does it, and she can give you good advice on how to like help with it. Um, and then Jacqueline, Jacqueline Hill, um, who also has her own line of beauty products, and has a lot of more detailed videos and with the products in the description. A lot of um, beauty like YouTubers nowadays are putting the products they're using, but they're also like usually very expensive products, so. But you might be able to find ones that are similar to what they have. And I would just suggest they're kind of fun to watch, guys. So. so for some good brands that you can get for the basic makeup at the drugstore, at Walgreens, you can go get Covergirl, Maybelline, or ALF right now. And I would suggest them. They're good, they're cheap, and they're like good for starter. Um, they're also good for problem skin, and they're like everywhere. So like you can walk four blocks that way and go get you guys some CoverGirl eyeliner, whatever you want. Um, middle of the road is NYX. They have so many colors, especially their lipsticks. Highly suggest if you're looking for like a special color lipstick. Um, if you ever want to learn how to make lipstick, you can do that too. Done that before. Wouldn't suggest it. I would just go on NYX and buy some. <laughs> it's a process and everything smells like olive oil at the end of it. Um, <laughs> and you're sad. Anyways. Um, so they have their middle of their line though, like they're not cheap, they're not expensive. And then high end, like Urban Decay, Tarte, Too Faced, they're like the ones you're going to see in a lot of those like YouTube videos, um, a lot of brand deals usually. Um, and they'll have good coverage, which tend to be, tend to be cruelty free, but again, you're going to, one, you're going to have to go to a special store, probably to the mall or to like Kohl's to get them. Um, and then two, they're going to be expensive. But if you can find a good deal, or if you're willing to drop the money, like you just want, I want one good eyeshadow palette, then go for it. They won't have fallout, they'll have good colors, but yeah. You can also just look at reviews online if you're thinking about buying some makeup, but you don't know what brand is good and not. You can just, there's so many reviews online for each brand and their items. And like every time a new item comes out from a brand, someone will review it for you. For online stuff, uh, Coastal Sense is pretty good. There, I, I figure middle of the road. Crayola came out with a brand of makeup and it didn't work at all, so don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Color pop if you need lipstick. I mean, Color pop with a U and eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. Coastal Sense is good for eyeshadow. So here's some more cruelty free makeup brand if that's what you're looking for, which I suggest you look for. But So ALF, which is at Walgreens, Kat Von D, which is a little more expensive, but not terrible. Physicians Formula, Essence, Too Faced, Anastasia Beauty Hills, NYX, Wet n Wild, which is the cheapest decent makeup you're going to find. Um, I mean, okay, depends what you get from Wet n Wild. I would suggest their lipsticks. Um, the foundation. Their foundation. Their eyeliner is really good. They're very basic stuff. But they're like the cheapest. You can go find them at um, Walgreens and if you're just looking for stuff to practice with, like you can get like an eyeliner stick for a dollar, you can get some lipstick for like two dollars, three dollars, and it's really good stuff to just practice with if that's what you're looking to do. And I'm sure you can find like lists of the cruelty free one makeup brands too if you just like Google it. So how to beat the system. So you can find dupes if you really want to. Um, you can find them with a quick Google search. Uh, and then um, so, and then usually they use the same color system as the brand that you are like buying the dupes off of. So that's pretty useful. I would be a little um, cautious with this still. Like, I don't, I don't know why you would buy a dupe of a Maybelline because it's already pretty cheap. So it's up to you if you want to put in the risk of buying like an, a, a dupe of it. But they can be pretty useful if you're trying to, if you want to buy like a really expensive palette but you want it for like half the price. So makeup for photography and cosplay. 
So when you're going to be in cosplay, unless, and you're, especially if you're going to be in photography, especially if you're going to be performing, you want to apply a little more than you would normally, like if you were just going to go to class. Um, do it before you put your wig on. One, it keeps it clean, and it just keeps the hair out of your eyes and everything. Um, and like, you can keep it around, though, if you need to match your eyebrows. Um, use your power to set everything. You don't want your makeup rubbing off during the day. Um, and flash is also not your friend when you are very oily because you didn't like set your makeup. Um, it also helps with editing too, so they don't have to do as much work. Not saying that y'all don't have beautiful faces, but <laughs> if they, if you were like, did you put like, makeup on me? They would just be like, you should have worn makeup. Um, it will help them so they don't have to do as much work. Um, and then also like. It just makes your cosplay look more complete if you have makeup, even if you're a guy. Um, makeup, it's just one extra step that will like get you to that, that god tier. Pro um, tip, male celebrities and, and movies and, and magazines. K-pop stars. At, at, at male celebrities everywhere, they're wearing makeup. They just don't make a fuss of it. <laughs> and I also for fun, like, parts of your face from getting lost, especially if you're like doing a masquerade, you want the people from the back to be able to see your eyes. Okay, well don't go super crazy, it's, the, it's not a high school play, <laughs> but um, don't like pile on the blush, but like you want people to see your features and it will help accentuate that if you wear makeup. And then body paint, setting spray, makes makeup stay forever. That's a lie. I mean, obviously it'll come off eventually, you're not going to be Colorful, and also depends what brand you get, but, um... 11 hours. 11 hours, okay. 11 hours. Perfume will not make your makeup stick. <laughs> um, There's a story there. <laughs> Perfume. <laughs> There's a Perfume. story there. It involves women with her. Um, but yeah, and also, I'm sure Katie will accentuate this, but if you're going to wear body paint, wear setting spray or something. Steel! Oh, no. paint! See like your paint. Okay, speaking of that. Hi! Hello! I guess I can just sit up here and like. Yeah, you. Or you do you want to like. I don't know how to work that thing, so. A fucking button, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. hello! I'm going to be talking about body paint and effects makeup. And, um, it me as a fabulous robot. Who's that? It's um, Metaton. Who are these people? I don't know what them. The <laughs> <laughs> Those are some of our friends. Um, so. You know, regular makeup's great if you want to be, you know, a human or human-looking character. But what if you're a robot, an alien, or a skeleton? You know, um, uh, there's it, that's when you use body paint or face paint, and there's lots of different kinds, um, like as <coughs> as many types of makeup as there is. There's types of body paint, and you can use water-based, oil-based, or alcohol-based, and they all have different uh, advantages and disadvantages. I prefer water-based makeup because I have really sensitive skin and uh, oil-based just makes my skin go crazy. Um, you use a lot of the same tools. You use brushes, sponges, things like that. Um, if you're going to be using like alcohol-based uh, body paint, that's when you use an airbrush, and I had a chance to use one once um, with uh, one of our former club members, uh, Ray, she has one, it was a lot of fun, but that's a really big investment. And like, like with regular makeup, you prepare your skin, you know, do, do your, your cleaning, your moisturizing, whatever, you prime it with some kind of base, um, I usually prime with the same sealing spray that goes on the top because that keeps my sweat from white washing away my makeup. Then you then you do your like your base color and then you you can seal that and then do your details in like eyeshadow and and eyeliner and other paints and then you seal again. Um, I have mostly uh, tubes of water based here but um, I use powder. Yeah. Um, uh, Mill, you, Mill, Mill, who was the uh, wonderful uh, 
Skeleton. The wonderful Skelly, the gaster sounds. Uh, she uses entirely uh, water activated powders and she, she looks fabulous all the time. Um, you can use, they, they, sometimes it comes in like a, a tube that's a stick. Um, and based what, what, what you use to apply it, you also use to remove it. So if you're using water-based um, water makeup, you use soap and water to take it off. If you're using oil-based, you'll probably have to use a specific remover. Alcohol, you also have to use a specific remover. So, um, water-based, my absolute favorite. Um, they're really safe, uh, fairly cheap, relatively common. I swear by Mayron, okay? Mayron Fantasy FX and, um, what's the other Mayron line? I don't know. <laughs> I do Snazzaroo. Paradise. Paradise. <laughs> I'm a Snazzaroo person. Right, well, she's a Snazzaroo person. We have, we have opinions there. Um, uh, but they're all, oh, I, I, I didn't break my Snazzaroo, so never mind. Um, but, uh, they're, you know, this is like $3 on Amazon, is too. Um, they're, they're pretty easy to learn. It's, it's like painting. You know, if you know how to paint with acrylics, you probably know how to paint with uh, water-based makeup. Um, the thing is, they're vulnerable to sweat, humidity, so on and so forth, so you need a really good sealing job to make them last. But when you do a good sealing job, it will last for frickin' forever. Um, Oil-based, uh, that's gonna be like your, your clown makeup, that's gonna be benign. Um, they're, they're messy. <laughs> they mess, they're messy, they stain, um, but they're, you're not gonna sweat them off. Um, I don't have a whole lot of experience with oil base because I'm so fond of the Mayrons, but um, I'm sure you can <coughs> probably find a tutorial somewhere. <laughs> Um, alcohol based are expensive, um, but uh, due to the, 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 it goes on and the alcohol evaporates out and then the pigment stays there forever. It will not wash off with water, it will not wash off with soap. You have to have the specific remover, so once it's there, it's there and you're good forever basically. It's kind of a challenge. It is a challenge. Um, yes, this is a lot of tools, um, <laughs> yes, um, you'll, you'll be using brushes and sponges to put it on, setting powder to help dry it out, especially with, um, um, oil-based, that's how you set oil-based, you don't use sealing spray usually, um, it's basically baby powder, so if you have talcum powder or baby powder, you can use that cheaply instead of getting a specific setting powder because there's usually enough charge. Um, sealing spray, good stuff. Um, I swear by Ben Nye Final Seal. This is the stuff they use in theater. Um, it's, you know, when, when you have this on, it's not going to, it's not going to be flaking, it's not going to be smearing, it's not going to be getting onto your costume and to other people. Um, seal your paint. Please. 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 As you, you, you don't want to be that person getting your makeup everywhere. Especially if you put it on your hands. Seal your, seal your fucking <laughs> hands. And don't put makeup on your hands. Use arm socks, please. Like, if, like, you could probably get away with it with alcohol paint, but don't put it on your palms. Don't put it on your hands. You can put it on the back and your arms, but don't put it on your, your hands because you're going to be touching things with your hands and that's going to be moving makeup everywhere and you don't want that. And um, make other people very, very angry. Very angry! Mm. Listen, they're... Mm. <sighs> I, both of us are home stocks. I don't know what that means. It's a bad thing. It's <laughs> <laughs> great paint everywhere. If you don't see it's it's great paint everywhere. Home stocks were infamous back in the day. 
Makes a lot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but a few years back, um, also, like um, Gems from Steven Universe, uh, there was a ruby and a sapphire at GeekCon who did not seal their paint, and I f almost fucking went, oh, fuck. And it got everywhere? Like, it, it was it was all over the, the sapphire's um, little <laughs> neck thing. It was all over um, yeah, yes, Ruby's it costume. It was just, it was everywhere. It was bad. It was like, why did why did you guys seal your paint? It's it's like five minutes. Seal your paint. The first time I <laughs> did face paint, I painted my hands. Now I painted my palms too. What's for Homster? And it, I was like 15. Don't blame me. Um, I didn't know what I was doing. And <laughs> by the time I got back to my hotel room, all the paint on the palms of my hand were gone. And I don't, it still haunts me to that day. I don't know where they went. <laughs> I don't you know where it went. After this beautiful I didn't like great touch any, trail around I didn't the convention. touch any merchandise, so at least there's that. But um, it went on so hard, door knob. That's where it went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ranting about sealing your paint. Um, <clears throat> seal your paint. Seal your paint. <laughs> seal your paint. <laughs> um, other things that are really useful as you're doing your makeup, like rags, like a, like a hand rag, like washcloths. A hair dryer speeds up drying, very useful. Um, I find a paint tray pretty useful, um, paper towels, um, regular makeup, eyeshadow, eyeliner, lipstick, mascara, a helper. I need a helper to get into Metaton. <laughs> Three hours. Um, yeah. And references. References of your character so that you can look back and forth as you're doing your makeup. Really helpful. And just to like Say so, yeah, other makeup, just because you put face paint on, you're not done. You still have to put another full face on top of that at least, if you're not doing anything else crazy. <laughs> you're not done, you're still a flat face now, you have one color. Yeah. You have no life in your skin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seal your paint! <laughs> so yeah, and sometimes might not even like... Sometimes might not let you go into the con if you're... Messy. Yeah. 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 Okay, so this is still me. Yes, it is still me. Um, um, besides, you know, what what I'm telling you here, you know, Google is your friend. Uh, Google is always your friend. Um, there, in addition to you know just regular YouTube beauty bloggers, there's lots of cosplay. Uh, Blogs, and you can, you can, you know, just Google up, you know, your character makeup tutorial, and chances are someone will have done it for you. Um, Facepaint.com, a lot, a pretty good resource for buying it. I also use Amazon a lot because who doesn't? Um, <laughs> you know, and just uh, if those, you know, aren't doing it for you. Just talk to other people, talk to other cosplayers, see what they do, you know. Talk to us, talk to me. Accidentally resident expert on effects maker. <laughs> so they don't have any questions? I don't remember what that bullet point was about. <laughs> it's just uh, questions for makeup tips for specific costumes. Okay. Anyone have any questions? Questions, hello. Face paint, or I don't know if this is the end of it. This is the end of it, or makeup in general. Um, right. Anyone? Alyssa added the slide. <laughs> what? Alyssa added that slide. Oh, okay. So Alyssa is just like a genius at makeup. If Alyssa anyone is doesn't a genius know. at makeup. Sorry, I think she's calling herself Leela now. Well, if anyone ever needs help with makeup, like, we didn't really go into actually how to apply it, but if you ever need That's more. That's why I wrote this stuff. If you want any more info on, like, actually, where do I put this? magical bronzer or highlighter. You put the highlighter everywhere is the tip. Um, <laughs> you just fill your face with highlighter. Yes. Do you have one comment just based on personal experience with oily and sweaty skin? Because I've dealt with that a lot with regular makeup. Um, oil blotting pads are probably one of the best things I've ever come across. And I just keep them inside my bag that I carry with me when I'm at the convention. And you can just run into the bathroom quick, blot away any sweat and oil on your face, and it's gone. And they are great. You can get them at Walmart. You can get them at Walgreens. 
and you can get them not name brand and they'll be relatively cheap. And one more thing, don't share brushes or eye makeup. I mean, if That's someone... That's a fast track to an infection. Yeah. Ugh. I mean, if you know, someone I really has a color you need, just make sure you have your own separate brush and that they're not dying. Um, and don't like <laughs> share like eyeliner or mascara. Like I mean, like if someone has like a lipstick color you need, or maybe it maybe an eyeshadow color you need. But other than that, just get your own stuff. Eye makeup, sharing it, fast track to pink eye, fast track to infections. You you don't want that. You really don't want that. It's not fun. So, and you can find like huge brush sets for like fifteen dollars on Amazon. Don't buy them in the store. Just buy them on Amazon for ten dollars. See, secret tip. Um, for face paint, could probably actually apply to regular makeup too. Use actual art brushes. They will come in bigger sets and be cheaper. Like, I've got a set here that's actually um, from Artists and Craftsmen, so. Any more questions or comments, queries, concerns? Concerns. <laughs> I'm trying to see, like, the size of makeup brush pack I bought, but it's <laughs> perfect. All right. I'm turning this off.